blissful days of secret companionship because Harold wanted it that way. Then the reality of her relationship with the man she had married forced itself into the dream world she had created. You can't talk that way about my mother. I will talk about her any way I please. I'd gladly see her hanged if I could. You must remember, my love, I am a woman of passion. And with all the passion and venom that's in me, I hate her. Shut your face, you power. I'll cut it for you. Oh, Harry, please. Oh, for the love of God, don't you understand? I can go on living like this. Well, what's wrong with it? I can't stand this thing. Being half married. Always sneaking about avoiding your friends and mine. But you I have left. Well, I've been seeing you weekends. Oh, and I live for those weekends. Those long days between the nine months. Every day after being alone, you You can understand that, can you? You've never had to live and love by yourself. Oh, I want you near me, Well, I'm near you. I want to love you and have you love me. Well, I tell you, I can't live like this. I'd rather be dead. That would help a lot, would it? A lot you'd care if I would. Oh, be sensible, Helen. How many times do I have to explain? Oh, I'll be sensible. Don't explain anymore. Sit down, dear. You are beside me. Oh, that's more likely. Darling, I know how things are. The business and all that. Your mother. Now, don't start harping on my mother again. I can just see her now. Sitting at home, furious. Yes, furious and jealous because she hasn't got a darling little boy by her side. Ellen? Well, you're no baby, Harry, no more. You are the star. You're a grown man, Harry. You can't spend the rest of your life tied to your mother's apron strings. I'm not tied to her apron strings. You're a man. A married man with responsibility. You've got to think of me once in a while. Uh, please think of you. She married me. She's got to love me. I can tell you one thing I won't do. If you don't stop these hysterical scenes, I'll stop coming around here. And... Stop. Stop loving me. Is that what you mean? Maybe it is. Is that what you mean, Harry? Just be careful. You never stop loving me. Oh, let go of me. Why don't you get dressed? Why should I? I'm not going any place. Oh, the trouble with you is you're getting old. And when a woman gets old, she goes right on loving a man. But the man. What about him? Can't even say it. Even though I knew it wasn't true. What the devil are you talking about? I just couldn't say that you stopped loving me. I got a big say, didn't I? And I'll say it again. Harry doesn't love me. Harry doesn't love me. Oh, I wish I were dead. Oh, for the love of Mike. Don't start that again. Oh, wait. Wait, Harry. I am getting old, Harry. Not as old as your mother. You love her. Oh, don't you love me just a little? So you do, Harry. Well, and you know how that setup is. Mother's given me the best years of her life. So you said. She's done her best to bring me up to be a respectable man, a good citizen. Mm. You are a good citizen. She scrimped and saved to give me everything she could. You wouldn't want me to turn against her now, would mm. you? No, I understand. Yes, sir. Mother's a wonderful woman, Helen. They don't make many like her. I wish you... You two could hit it off better. You mean you wish I were more like her? That's it, isn't it, Harry? Isn't it? I just... Oh, never mind. She just can't grow up, can you? What are you driving at? You go through the rest of your life, probing into the soul of every woman you meet, trying to find your mother there. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry to you, Harry. Truly, I am. I wish I'd realized before. Before I fell in love with you. What as much as I am. Too late now. Yes. Too late. Oh. Everything will be all right, see her. Oh, you are just a great big baby after all, aren't you? Mm-hmm. I guess all men are like babies. I guess they, uh, they all like babies, too. Do you have? Mm-hmm. Do I have? Like babies. Helen, what are you talking about? Oh. Don't look at me that way. But why? Why? Well, don't you see, darling? It'll bring us closer together. Yeah. Put them in a home of our own. And you'll be... No. You'll be glad to come to you. 
your baby. No. Doesn't that mean anything to you? No. Oh, dear God. Not even yet. Not even yet. of a woman's love and her journey through life, of the endless pages of life turning without number, empty, drab, or filled with heart-bending loneliness. Oh, don't make a scene here. I can't stand another of your outbursts in public. I'm so glad to get rid of me. Oh, Helen. Oh, won't you even... I'll make you I... I did this, sir. When you come back, you come back all right. You understand? Yeah. Or... You'll find yourself on some beach dead. Dead? Others have been found that way, you know. It is you, Fanny Maiden. Yes, I know it is. What is your voice, your face? I can't believe I'm hearing you. You, uh, you, a gentle and kind. Like no man ever was before. Oh, what are you talking about? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. You're dead already. Just everything that stops in my day. Even that doesn't seem conscious. Only the subconscious seems to work. Tells me to eat, sleep, and walk. Oh, you feel different when you get back. Hey. Hey, will you try things again when I get back? Sure, we will, honey. We're both late sailing, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go on board. No, never mind. I, I can manage alone. Take care of yourself and your mother. <laughs> alone in her state room and pressed cold hands against her throbbing head. Oh, dear God. Please, let me die. I don't want to go mad alone like this. She doesn't love me. Oh, please, please let me die. Oh, Harry, I need you. The sea beat restlessly on distant shores, bearing on its breast a restless, hungry heart. Oh, what? I'm tired of 
instead of you threatening me. I'll do more than threaten you if you break my mother's heart by telling her we're married. Oh, you must break her heart. How about mine? I'm not good enough for you, is that it? Helen. She has the best of everything. Even you. I have to take what I can get. What you choose to give me. Not on your life. If we're going to share you, it's going to be equally. Be quiet. Your mother's such a wonderful woman. She'd be glad to see your son married and happy. Hey. Hey, what are you doing in my purse? What are you looking for? This. I've got it. I'm always lucky. Give me that. Oh, Harry. Please. Please, don't take it away from me. Well, I've got it, haven't I? Please. Please, that's all I have in the world. I value it. It's the only thing that keeps us together. You're telling me. Harry. Harry, don't bring that lie. It won't hold us together anymore. I'll get it back. Uh, I'll get it back. There's no fire. You'll kill yourself. Stop it. Yeah. It was our bond, Harry. Go on. Now you haven't any proof, even if you do tell my mother. Do you think for a minute she wouldn't believe me? Please, no. Please believe me. I will tell her. I'll make her believe. And I'll tell her tonight. We'll start the new year right. You remember that gun in my car? I'll get that gun and I'll kill you with it. Do you hear me? I'll kill you. Oh, no, you won't. You won't kill me, Mama Troy. You don't dare. You haven't got what it takes to kill anybody. You've never scared me before with your threats, and you're not scaring me now. Mama's boy wouldn't kill anybody. No? You think I won't? You stop yelling at me, little boy. Your mother will find it out. Oh, please, Ellen. You don't understand, Mother. Why did break your heart to find out how... Gotten married without telling her. I've always told her everything wrong I've ever done. Except when I married you. You break your heart. So let me love it. You broke mine. I broke hers as a fair thing. Oh, Helen, sweet, I love you. I love you so much. Try to feel a little pity for me. I want to stay with you. I want to lead a normal life, but I can't. I can't leave Mother, and I can't tell her we're married so we can all live together. I might have had pity on you once, but not now. Helen, I'll kill myself. Go ahead. Get the gun out of the car. The one you were going to use on me. Go ahead. Am I stopping you? I'd be free, then. Then I could go on living. Harry. Harry, where are you go? Oh, I love you, Helen. Oh, Harry, let me talk. Oh, darling. Oh, I love you. <laughs> the hours passed. The year sped towards its end. Harry's mother, dressed in her best, sat proudly beside her son in his car, proudly indeed. Together, through the long years, they faced the new year. Meanwhile, a taxi cab bore the woman through the carnivalesque street to her husband's club. <laughs> Mrs. Amor. Happy New Year. Good evening, Helen. Hi, Harry. I don't know. You tell me where he is. You do right there. Oh, wait. You do as you like. Thank you, I will. Just who do you think you are, taking Harry away from me? You be quiet. I won't be quiet. I'll broadcast it to the whole world. Quiet, I want the whole world to know. Here, she's a selfish mother. What's Harry doing here with you? He promised to take me out tonight. I'm his mother. Yes, you're his mother. Isn't that wonderful? So I'm his wife. What do you think of that? You're lying. Oh, no, I'm not. Please, don't make a scene. I'll make a scene here if I want to. Can't you wait till tomorrow? Well, I'll be too late. I want to finish the old year right. Start the new year with a bang. Helen. Helen, what are you doing here? I have a perfect right to be here, haven't I? Well... Haven't I? Come on, you're going home. Oh, please. Please don't send me away. I want to be with you. Come on. Please. Let me stay with you, Harry. You got that gun? What gun? A gun from my car. Well, <laughs> makes you think I've got the gun. Helen, I could kill you. you. How nice. Give me that gun. Harry, you please come outside. Well, what do you want? Oh, darling. I'm sorry I acted like that. Please, please don't send me away. You hurt me so when you tore up the license and burned it. I, I just sort of went crazy, I guess. I've hurt you. What do you think you've done to my mother? 
Now get in that cab. Where shall I go? I don't care where you go, so long as it's away from here. Uh, give me that gun. Hurry, hurry, wait. Wait, let me go home. Please, please, hurry. I'll be good. I'll love your mother. I'll, I'll be good to her. You'll be happy. No. No. Well, then let me wait for you. I'll be right here. I won't even go to the club. I'll be quiet. Let me wait for you. No. Then take your mother home and then come back. We'll be happy together. Well, let then. go of me. I'm through with you. From now on, I'm no more married to you than anyone else, you common little... Hey. Uh, wait a minute. Give me that gun. I, I haven't got it. Don't lie to me. Give it to me. Hurry. Oh. Hurry, oh, hit me. Leave me alone. You give me that gun. Don't worry, you can't have it.
Bill's Amour on tonight's program was played by Lorene Tuttle. Next week at this time, Rio Grande will present The Case of the Azure Ring. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System.